Hello everyone. Uh, I like to make animations with characters twisting around and such. And when doing animations like this, I'm sure you're going to run into a very common problem in which there are bones that just don't rotate the way that you want them to. So, for example, when I was working on that Vegeta animation right here, uh, his head did something like this. Right? I don't know if you saw it there. But uh, it just turned in the completely wrong direction. <laughs> that is not how a head is supposed to turn. Even with Saiyans, their heads don't turn that way. And I wanted to go over a very quick and easy solution that I found uh, for that recently. Uh, it saves a lot of time and I wanted to share it with everyone. So here we go. So the first thing you need to do is I identify the bone that's going wrong. Uh, which is very obvious in this case. Um, and it, the solution is so easy. You don't need to do any math. You don't have to figure out which axis it is. Well, sort of. It's it's so simple. So what you do is you spawn a helper. Um, and then... I like to keep it while I'm working because it happens a lot. So I'm just going to call this a gimbal unlocker. Um, and then I'm going to expand both these. I'm going to take the bone that's giving me trouble, which is this head neck bone that I have here. Then click all, the entire thing, the entire thing, both the root transform and the poly surface. And I zero it out. Okay? After you do that, unlock the root transform. Okay? So when you do that, the root transform should have all this animation. And the poly surface has none, but like literally none, it's at, it's at zero. Then you take the polysurface one, not the root transform, not the root transform, the polysurface one, and put it on the bone that's giving you trouble. Okay? When you do that, you'll notice that the bone that's giving you trouble, it's flatlined, and so is the polysurface. There's no animations on them whatsoever, either of them. And this gives us the freedom to manipulate it very, very easily. So here we have the head rotating the wrong way. So you go to where the keyframe uh, starts giving you trouble, which for me is here. And then you go to the last frame that is giving you trouble, which is here. Okay. So the head is spinning in the wrong direction between these two frames. Okay. So then you go between them, right? I wanted it I wanted the head to go clockwise and instead it spun counterclockwise. So I go here and I spin this the way I want it to go, so clockwise. And I can see what when I do that, see these uh oh, hold on. Sorry. See when I do that, these uh lines over here. Uh they the, it's a blue line that's going down, so I can tell that that's rotation Z. It's not, it's not Y, it's not X, it's rotation Z. So then um, I actually delete that keyframe, that was just for information. Then I go to the last keyframe that's giving me trouble, and I go to blue, rotation Z, and it was down, so it's negative. So then I type minus 360. And if I do that, now his head will spin in the correct direction. And this is wonderful because it basically works every single time. There was one instance in which it didn't work for me and all that I had to do was put a keyframe there and then it spun in the right direction. I don't know why that did it, but it did it. Um, just put a keyframe in the middle. That only happened to me once. I, every single time I test this, it works. The head no longer rotates the wrong way, or the bone. The bone no longer rotates the incorrect way when you do this. You also notice that that is not 360 degrees, despite I typed in 360 degrees. That's because the root transform is still doing its thing. It's still going in, rotating in the incorrect way. Uh, so the 360 degrees on the poly surface is fighting that. Um, that's why you get less than 360 degrees and the correct orientation. 
So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. That took me a very long time to learn, well, to figure that out. Uh, and that's my gift to you, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, do consider subscribing uh, if you like this. I've been working on a very big project, the biggest project of my entire life. A lot of people know me for my animations on Boundary Break. So if you like that, then consider subscribing, because I'm going to have a really big project coming out soon. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please share it with the world, because this is a very difficult problem that I'm sure a lot of people would love to learn about. Oh, one last thing. Of course, unlock the head. Unlock the bone when you're done. Unlock the bone when you're done. <laughs>